and we're back with part 13. So in this episode then, we're again going to be carrying on with the upstairs section for the mansion. And for this episode, we're going to be finishing off the three rooms at the back of the building. To begin with then, we're just going to come to the one on the far left hand side, where we're just going to place our bed to begin with. But to make it a bit easier, we're just going to add one more piece of glowstone so you can see what we're doing. And then you just want to come to the corner and just count out another six blocks. And on the seventh block, you just need to place five blocks of birchwood planks. So the blocks we've added here is going to be the backboard for our bed. But on top of the outside two blocks we just added, you just need to add an upside down stairs on each of the blocks. But for the three blocks remaining in the centre, you can just add your birchwood stairs again, but this time facing upwards. And in front of this, we're going to be using a slightly different design for our bed this time, whereby instead of using our actual beds, we're going to be placing our red wall instead. And for this, across the three centre blocks, you can just place three by three with your red wall. But on top of the back row of red wool we just added, you can just place your white carpet. Then on each of the sides of the bed, which can extend four blocks out with our birchwood slabs. Then to finish off our bed, you just need to add three more stairs in front of the three remaining blocks at the front of our bed. And that's the bed done, but facing directly opposite our bed, which can add a TV. Now for this, you just want to come to the corner again, but on the opposite side, where we're going to count out two blocks. And on the third, fourth and fifth block, just placing your bookshelves. And on top of this, adding three by two with your black wall. But now on the left hand side of the TV we just added, we're just going to be adding a desk. So for this, you just want to come one block away from the corner, and here just placing an upside down stair facing inwards. Then on the right of it, three more slabs, followed by one more stair facing inwards again. And that is the back row for our desk added. So now we're just going to extend the table for our desk out by one more row. After this, in front of our desk, we're going to be adding a small seat. And this is going to be made out of our birchwood stairs and also our birchwood slab in the centre. Now for this, you just want to come one block out in front and then one block to the side. Then from here, we're going to be placing our chair, which you can just start off by placing two stairs. But on the left hand side of the last block, one more stair and then another two facing opposite the first two we added. To finish off our desk though, we just need to add some actual decoration on top of the desk. But to start this off then, we're going to be adding a monitor on the centre block. And for this, you just need to begin by placing a block at the back. Then in front of that, a painting, followed by a pressure plate. And quickly behind that, you just need to add a pressure plate behind the painting, as otherwise the painting will fall off. After this, for all of the remaining blocks on the back row, you can just place your pressure plates on all of them. Then another two on the outside blocks of the front row as well. And that should mean you're left with two remaining blocks, which you can just place your levers on both of them. So now that we've done that, the last thing we've got to do to finish off this room 
is to just add our lights. So for this then, same as what we did for our doorways in the previous part, the easiest way to see what I'm doing is to just follow what I'm doing on screen. But for this room in total though, we are going to be placing 5 lights, and for all of these, they're just going to be an iron bar with a redstone lamp on the bottom of it. For the first one though, we're just going to begin by coming to the corner above our desk, where you just need to come one block out to the side, and then one block back. And that's going to mark the first location for our light. Then the same in the corner next to this. For the third light though, you again need to come one block out to the side and then one block back. And for this light, you just want to count on the left hand side of the sandstone pillar. For the last two lights though, we're going to be adding these on either side of our bed. So for the left one, you just want to come to the block on the left hand side of our bed. And then just coming one block back away from our wall. Then doing the same for the block on the right hand side of our bed as well. The last thing we've got to do then for this room is to just power on our lights. So you just need to go to all of the lights we added and just place a lever on the side of it. Now that we've done that, once we have removed our glowstone, we can just come across into the next room. Now for this room, we're going to have a bedroom in this one, but on the right hand side of it, as you may have noticed, we have got a doorway which leads into another room, where we're just going to be adding an ensuite bathroom. To start off this room though, we're going to be doing exactly the same as what we've done in our previous room, by again placing our bed. So I am going to be doing this bit slightly faster, as again, all we're doing is using the same design as what we used in the first room. This time though, you just want to count out two blocks, and on the third block, you can just add five birch wood planks. Then, if you can remember, on top of the outside two blocks, we are going to be placing an upside down stair on top of each. And then for the three across the centre, you can just add three more stairs facing upwards, going across. After this, we're going to be placing our bed in front, and for this, you should want to place three by three with your red wool. Once you've done that, on the sides of this, just extending out four blocks. Next though, to finish off, you just need to place three more stairs in front of the bed. And that's our bed finished. Now, same as before, we're going to be coming directly opposite our bed again. But this time, instead of placing a TV, we're just going to be adding some bookshelves. To start this off though, you just need to come one block out from the sandstone wall, and here, just placing seven high with your court stairs. Then counting two blocks away, and facing the opposite way, you just need to place another seven blocks up.
Once you have done that, to connect across the top row, we are just going to be using our upside down stairs. So for all of the space you've got left remaining in the centre, you can just fill it all with your bookshelves. And that's the first of our two bookshelves added. But now directly on the left hand side of this, we're again going to be doing the same. So just starting off by using the same pattern and placing seven high with your court stairs again. Then on the third block away, another row of court stairs, and then your two stairs across the top. Lastly though, just filling in the space with your bookshelves. And that's our bookshelves added. The next thing we're going to be adding to this room though, is going to be some seating next to the window. Now for our seats, both of these are going to be exactly the same design as what we used for our desk chair. But just starting off by placing your first one, and just coming up one block back and then one block to the side, and here is going to mark the first location for the first chair. After you've placed this one though, we're just going to place one more chair facing directly opposite the one we just added. But between our two seats we are going to be adding a small table and for this we're just going to be placing it two by one with our birchwood slabs. Next though, on the right hand side of our bed, we're going to be adding some more storage. For this then, we're going to be placing 6 chests in total. But before we do that, we just need to add the slabs that the chests are going to be sat on top of. And for this, you should need to come to the second block away from your bed. And on the second block up, on the top half of the block, we're going to be placing 2 wide with our slabs. Then above this we're just going to come to the second block away from the slabs we just placed and here you can just place another two more slabs. So that is all the slabs that we're going to be adding for the left hand side but we are just going to repeat this leaving a one block space on the right hand side of it. Next we just need to add our chests in the spaces and you should have to place 6 lots of 2 chests in total. So the first 2 lots of 2 chests are going to be placed underneath our slabs and then for the rest of them they're just going to be placed on top. That's the first lot added, now to just repeat this for the right. finish off this room then all we've got left to do is just add our light and also a small rug in front of the chest we just placed. But to start off our lights again we're going to be placing 4 in total but same as the last room the easiest way to see how I actually do it is to just follow what I'm doing on screen.
that's the first two added. But for the second two, we're going to be placing both of these one block away from our sandstone wall. So you do just want to come to the furthest row out from the right, and then just come one block out. And there you go then, that is all of our lights added, so we can just power them all on now. But the last thing we're going to be adding to this room, as I mentioned before, is just going to be a 5x6 rug in front of our chests. And you want to start this off by coming to the third block out in front of our far left hand chest. And then from here, just placing 5 blocks of red carpet. Then just extending them all out another 5 more blocks in front. And that's this room added. So the last room we're going to be adding is going to be an ensuite bathroom on the right hand side of this room. But to start this room off, we're going to be adding a small bath at the back of the room. So with your quartz stairs then, we're just going to begin by counting three blocks out. And then you can just place five quartz stairs across. Then in front of the last block, you can just place a whole quartz block, or just two quartz slabs on top of each other. But that is the outside of our bath marked out, and as you might have guessed now, you can just fill it in with your water. And then just add two levers on the left hand wall to finish off our bathtub. Next then, you just want to come to the left hand side of the first stair we added, and here placing 7 quartz slabs out. Then doing the same for the two rows directly in front of this. And on top of the slabs we added, we are going to be adding a toilet. So we can just grab all the materials we're going to need for this then. But before we do this, just to add a little bit more privacy to the room, we're going to be placing our oak leaves on the left hand row next to our quartz slabs. And for all of these, you can just extend them all up as high as they'll go. But after this, for our toilet, we should need to come to the centre block, which is the fourth block out. And on top of this, placing a quartz slab with a quartz block on top. Then directly in front of this, you can just remove your quartz slab and just replace it with a cauldron. Now for your cauldron, you can just fill it with your water and also just add a trapdoor directly on top of it. Then just 
then just placing your lever on the right hand side of the toilet to finish off. And that's our toilet added. The next thing we are going to be adding to this room though, is going to be our sink opposite our toilet. So again, just come into the bottom left hand block, and on the second block out, you can just place one upside down quartz stair. And then three cauldrons on the right of it, followed by another stair. Within our cauldrons, we are going to be filling it with our water. And then above each of our stairs, we're going to be placing two slabs, but making sure to leave a half a block space between each block. That's the two added for the left, now to just add the two for the right hand side. So the last thing we do actually have to do to finish off our sink, is to just place our item frames on all of the blocks between our two slabs. Now if you wanted to, you could actually fill these in with any item you wanted to, but we are just going to leave them as they are for now. But all we have got left to do for this room now, is to just add a shower and our lights. start off our shower then, you can just count 3 blocks out, and on the 4th block, placing 4 quartz blocks back. After this, on the right hand side of the last block, we're going to be placing 3 quartz stairs, but making sure they're facing inwards. So that is the outside border for our shower almost done, but the last thing we need to do across the front row, is to just add 4 quartz slabs. Next then on the 4 quartz blocks, you can just place your glass panes, and you want to place these so it finishes one block beneath the roof. Then we're just going to do the same on top of the bottom right hand stair. And that's our shower almost added. The last thing we've got to do though is just place our lever on the centre block on the fifth block up at the back. But the last thing we've got to do for this room then, is just add our light, so that we can remove our glowstone. And for this room then, in total, you should just have to place three lights. For the first one though, you should want to come two blocks back from a corner, and then one block to the side. Then for the corner opposite to this, we're going to be coming one block back, and then one block out to the side. That's two added, now for the last one, we're going to be placing it next to our doorway. That is all of our lights added, now to finish off though, you just need to power them all on. Now 
then just removing your glowstone. And that is the last thing we're going to be doing for this part. In the next part, all we've got left to do is to just place our side rooms for the upstairs.